Remote work, guys, remote work is coming to an end. You need to come into work. I'm sorry to be the bearer of bad news, but you remember when we were in the pandemic and everybody was screaming work-life balance and if you really want me, then I can work from home and still make the same amount of money. And then, you know, companies, you know, these big companies like Google, Apple, Tesla, they all jumped on board and said, we're here for you guys. We'll go ahead and give you this work-life balance. We'll go ahead and, you know, and give you the same amount of money, same benefits. All you have to do is just be more productive and, and do your work. Well, uh, they're changing course now. <laughs> Once again, we're in a series of these companies aren't loyal. <laughs> Did you really think that these companies like Tesla, Apple, Google, you know, continue to let you work from home and continue to let you have that work-life balance? <laughs> No, no, it's gonna end, especially when their stock prices are just plummeting. Everything continue to go down. They're going to have to make cuts somewhere, and we know where the cuts are gonna come from. The cuts come from payroll. We're heading down a recession, guys. The housing market is continue to crumble. We're seeing inventory come up, interest rates go up. Everything is at a all-time high cost-wise. So these guys are saying, ah, come back to the office. We paid millions for these campuses and these buildings and all this infrastructure just to let it go to waste. Now, nah, let's jump into it. It says, Elon Musk reportedly tells Tesla workers to return to office full-time or resign. <laughs> oh, boy, I tell you what, Elon Musk, man, I tell you what. And here's the thing. It's just not Elon Musk. This is just an article that we're reading that specifically is on Elon, but there's a bunch of these tech and, you know, these bigger companies that are changing their minds. They're doing a reverse on you guys. Elon Musk has reportedly told Tesla employees to come back into their respective offices at least 40 hours a week or leave the company. Musk said that people must show up for at least 40 hours per week in the main Tesla office. If you don't show up, we will assume you have resigned. Now, does that that seemed pretty harsh. Well, especially if he was on board with, you know, remote and you've gotten yourself together. And let's just say you are a Tesla employee and you've gotten yourself together and you've got your whole schedule based around being remote. And then now you have to go back into the office and now you can't go pick up your kid anymore. Now you can't go to, you know, recitals and soccer practice. And now that we're in the summer, maybe now you have to put your, your child in summer camp, you know, a lot of things could mess that up. So I can understand why there is such an uproar and have to go from going into the office to being remote. Remote allows you to have so much opportunity to do things that you need to do with your time and still be productive at the same time. But I want you two guys to really focus on what these companies are doing. Once again, these companies are not loyal. <laughs> they're not, they're not. They're going to do what best helps their bottom dollar. And what helps their bottom dollar is for you to come in and use the internet they're paying for. They need you to come in and use the building that they're paying uh, air conditioning and HVAC for. They need you to come in for the facility, the, the building that they bought so that you can work harder and not have to go home. That's what they invested in. And for them to get a return on their money, you have to be inside of that building. You cannot work outside of the building and then just, you know, an empty building, you know, they're losing money on their investment. Anyone who wishes to do remote work must be in the office for a minimum of 40 hours per week. Now, what's the kind of the point of that? A 40 hours, so full-time work. Just, let's just think about this, guys. Full-time work a week, a 40 hours per week. And for you to work remote, you have to work over the 40 hours, which is full time. So you wanna work some overtime? Yeah, you can, you can work remote. But if you wanna work a regular full time job, you gotta come in, you gotta come in. It kinda defeats the purpose and Elon and Tesla know that that defeats the purpose. What ends up happening is, is you only work from 
the office. And then you're not going to do any extra work over that 40 hours, especially if your salary, you're going to work your 40 hours and be done. You're not going to take any extra work home so you can work over the 40 hours. And they know this, but that's the point of them doing it. There are, of course, companies that don't require this, but when was the last time they shipped a great product? It's been a while. Musk wrote in a second email. He then added, it's important for senior employees to show their presence and said, it's why he lived in the factory so much and that had he not tesla would long ago have gone bankrupt now this is a thing that entrepreneurs have to understand i think elon knows this if you're an entrepreneur no one and i've had conversations with my friends about this and we talk about this stuff all the time is that no one will love your business like you you know why guys because it's your business. That doesn't mean that you want to hire bad employees. That doesn't mean you don't want to hire dedicated employees. That means that the amount of work, the amount of things that you will do, the amount that you will risk to keep the business going, no one else will do. <laughs> You know, hits living in a factory for months and months and years to make a business work. When's the last time you've seen an employee do that? They won't because it's not their baby. It's your baby. Hence the reason why you're the richest man in the world. Hence the reason why you have all the riches and all that other stuff. And you get to have all of that stuff. You can have all of that because you are risking everything. You're willing to do what 10 employees won't do. You're willing to do what probably no employee will do. And with that being understood, you cannot hold employees to the flame and say, hey, if you want to be here, you got to have the same level of commitment that I have. And you got to want to live in here. You got to want to do X, Y, Z. You can't do that, Elon. You can't do it. But who am I? I'm, I'm just Orlando and he's Elon Musk. I get it. I get it. But we know as entrepreneur guys, if you're going to hold employees to that, you will never find an employee that has the same commitment that you have. Tesla has and will create actually manufacture the most exciting and meaningful products of any company on earth. This will not happen by phoning it in. Musk appears to confirm the emails on Twitter, responding to an inquiry about the leak emails. He told people, <laughs> this, is, this is ridiculous, that they should pretend to work somewhere else. So he said, hey, if you want to be a remote work, you can pretend to work somewhere else. You can go work for Walgreens or, you know, uh, some other Fortune 500 company that will allow you to be do remote work, but not for this company. If you want to work for the, the cutting edge company, you have to go in and do your 40 hours worth of work in a building. Come in every day, park your car and get your lunch breaks and then leave. This is what I'm trying to say, guys, at the end of the day. We have a recession that is coming in really fast. It's going to hit a lot of families. It's hitting the job sector. We're starting to see all of these companies pull in and rein in promises that they said that they would have done. Individuals will have to make a decision. Do you want to risk your job stability for you know, not working remotely for that work-life balance, you know, what do you want to do? Do you want to risk that? And if you do want to risk that, can you buy a home anymore? Are you going to still be in the housing market? And that is the type of stuff that I'm talking about, guys, is that obviously we talk a lot about the housing market and remote work is a big thing for a lot of families out here, as I totally understand that. But if you're going to buy a home, this is the stuff that I'm talking about when I say you have to focus focus on if I'm going to buy a home, is my job stable? Look at this. If you were a Tesla employee last week, you thought that your job was secure, but you have a home under construction right now and you can't really lock in your rate. Rates are continuing to go up. And then on top of that, now you have to make a decision when your whole life is based off of remote work. Your whole structure and scheduling was based off of remote work. You can't do remote work anymore. And you're thinking to yourself, I don't like this. I don't want to do this anymore. Now your job is unstable. Can you afford the home anymore with not having a job or going to a different job or taking a pay cut in a job to something that is more work-life balance? So the big thing about this is just remember, guys, a lot of these companies at the end of the day are going to start peeling back the layers when it comes to this remote work. And I'm telling you, remote work is not something that will be here to stay. Will there be some companies out there that really promote it and say, hey, look guys, look, 
you guys can do this, you can work from home, and it's gonna be a talent generator, a something that will bring people in because they want remote work, yes. But these huge, these bigger companies, especially when it comes to younger individuals, I can really see the younger generation that a lot of these companies are gonna say, you know what, we're rolling this back. We're rolling the remote work back, and you're gonna have to come back into work, into our campuses that we've paid billions and billions of dollars for, and we want you to work here. Forget the remote work. That was during the pandemic and the pandemic's over. Come back to work. Come on back to work, right? That's what they're gonna say. But as always guys, do what you feel is comfortable. I'm just here to give you the information and let you know that things are starting to rain down on you guys. It's, start, it's just starting to come down and you don't want to get to a point to where you just can't see what's in front of you or what's coming ahead. I'm trying to give you guys the warning sign, the red flags. So I'm gonna need you to watch this next video here, guys. It will help you learn about this crazy housing market, this crazy economy, and also get into your first rental property. Also check in the description below, guys. I have some useful links on getting credit reports and then also join our membership program. I'll see you guys in the next one. Thanks.